Hi, I'm John from Columbus Public Library, and this is Chess at the Library. Today, we're going to take a look at how to use a chess clock, how to play chess online, and how to read chess notation. When you play a game of chess in a tournament, or if you play online, then you will likely use a clock. Chess clocks may look intimidating to a new player, but they're not difficult to use. A chess clock is actually two clocks, one for each player. Each clock counts down during that player's turn and pauses when it's the other player's turn. If one player's clock runs out of time, then that player loses. If you want to play with a clock, but don't want to buy a special chess clock, there is a free chess clock app that you can download for your iPhone or your Android phone. When you first open the app, you'll need to select what time control you want to use. A time control is basically how much time each player has when the game begins. For example, you can choose to play with 15 minutes for each player, or you could choose to only have 5 minutes for each player. There may also be a second number next to the minutes. This is usually an increment or a delay. An increment is how many seconds gets added to your clock after you make your move, and a delay is how many seconds must pass before your countdown begins after each move. With either one, it means that if you move fast enough, then your clock won't go down or won't go down very much. Once you pick the time control that you want, you can begin playing. After one player makes their move, they tap the clock. Their timer will pause and their opponent's timer begins. This goes back and forth until checkmate or until one of the clocks runs out of time. When you're stuck at home, playing chess online is a great way to practice. These days, it's easier than ever. There are a few websites that you can use. There's leechess.org, GameNot, chess.com, and a few others. Most of them also have free apps that you can download for your phone and tablet. Let's take a look at leechess.org. Leechess is always free with no ads or any commercial features. You don't even actually have to register or give them any personal information to start playing. Although if you do register an account, then it can keep track of how well you play and match you with opponents at your same skill level. When you start a game online, you'll have to choose what time control you want to use, which is basically how long each game will be. The time controls usually fall into a few general categories. You'll see Bullet, where each game is like one or two minutes long. That's extremely fast. Blitz is about three to five minutes, which is still pretty fast. Rapid is about 10 to 15 minutes per player, and then longer than that, it's called classical. You can also, if you make a custom game, you can have a correspondence game where each player has a day or more to make their move. It's kind of like the modern day version of an old play by mail, where players would literally mail a letter with their move to each other. To play with other players in the Chattahoochee Valley Libraries, you can join our group on leechess.org. Go to the Community tab, go to the Teams drop-down, we'll just search for us here, and there we are. And you, once you sign in with your account, then you'll be able to join us. After playing chess for a while, you'll start to see chess notation or hear abbreviations like NF3. Even though this stuff may look like alien hieroglyphics at first, it's actually a pretty simple code to record games. Each board has eight rows and eight columns. The columns are called files and are labeled with letters A through H. Note that A is always on the white player's left side and always on the black player's right side. The rows are called ranks, and they are numbered 1 through 8. Rank 1 is closest to the white player, and rank 8 is closest to the black player. From this, every square can be identified the same way that you would identify a cell in a spreadsheet. F3 is this square, B6 is this square, and so on. In chess notation, every piece is represented by a letter. Kings are K, Queens are Q, bishops are B, knights are N, and rooks are R. So NF3 means that a knight moved to the F3 square. Pawns don't have a special letter. 
if a pawn moves to say d5, then we just write d5. If a move puts a king in check, then the move has a plus sign next to it. When a move captures a piece, it's marked with an X. If a move is checkmate, then it, that move has a hash mark after it. We are springing into summer learning at the Chattahoochee Valley Libraries, and the program you just attended is one of the ways you can earn completions. Just go to cvlga.org and look for Spring into Summer Learning. You can register yourself and your family online, and then start reading and attending our online events. That's all you have to do. We're giving away weekly gift certificates, and every completion you make enters you into a grand prize drawing for tablets, games, gifts, and more. Remember, you have to register to win cvlga.org, and we'll see you online again real soon.